Josh and Deck here from Tackle Tactics. Join us for a few days on Lake Mondoran, getting into some barra. So if you haven't been to Mondoran, it's quite a large dam, about 20 minutes north of Jinjin, um, renowned for having lots of arms, plenty of timber, and plenty of barra. So coming into the trip, we selected a new moon. Um, so we fished that three day sort of build up to that, to that new moon. Um, we had forecast of a nor'easter. So we planned on fishing a particular part of the dam. When we got there, it was blowing sou'easter. So we decided to, with that wind change, head up to uh, a bit further up the dam into an area that's got a lot more weed in it. It's gonna hold resident fish. So we knew we were in an area that we we're gonna find fish. We were gonna see that nor'easter to kick in in about one to two days time. So we just thought we'd hold out for that and so I'd plug away at some resident fish and, and see how we go. So we got up there, first day we fished an afternoon bite. Um, we were finding that they were a little bit timid um, and then that wind was pumping quite hard. So we downed to the four inch size in the Hercules uh, for a little bit more of a sort of finesse presentation. And because of that smaller size lure, we went to a um, light spin setup. So a 48 kilo Black Mamba 4000 ITX, just to be able to get that bit of a further cast across the weed and um, keep those lures away from the boat as much as possible. Yep, there he is. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Just had a few fish coming past there. Little four-inch Hercules has been smashed. Missed a couple of bites. Good to finally stick one. Oh yeah. Hailed that little Hercules. Lovely. Right, right. Next fish at the Hercules there, a little bit bigger. And that four inch and opening night again. Haven't got a good look at him, but oh, there he goes jumping there. 90 ish. Who's that? Angry 90. They definitely go hard, Josh. They do, eh? Oh. <laughs> nice, man. Very good. A little bit of weight in that one. Yeah, he's a pretty well built. Jesus, how solid is that thing? Oh. Now, let's play, where's the Hercules? <laughs> Down there a little bit. So overnight that wind finally did swing to that nor'east that we were looking for. Um, we planned on heading back up the dam to do a morning session where we got those fish the night before, but we were a little bit buggered after the drive up. So we decided we'd fish a spot a bit closer to the ramp um, that does generally fish quite well in the mornings. Uh, we got there probably about that sort of 5.30 just after first light, um, found fish straight away on a shallow point casted them for quite a while. Um, didn't really find they were super active, which is just one of those things in Mondoran. So it was just a case of just plugging them out until, until we got a bite. We eventually moved a little bit further off the point, sitting in deeper water, casting to almost where the boat was placed previously. And all it took was just putting a lure on one's nose until we got the bite. That ended up being on the five inch Hercules in Houdini. Um, just going to that larger presentation just to get it down a little bit more because they were sitting that bit deeper. Um, so we got that one, that was a good fish, it was sort of mid-90s. Uh, and then we kept plugging away for the morning. It was a little bit sort of quiet from then on. Um, found plenty of fish, but they just weren't quite playing the game. So we headed back to camp for a bit of a, bit of a relax, a bit of a sort of rest um, to get ready for that afternoon session so we could focus in on that twilight bite. So after our midday rest, we came back down to the dam and found a pretty persistent nor'easter wind. So we shot right back up the dam and found fish pretty quick. 
Uh, we sat on them for a while and towards that dusk bite we started getting a few bites. Had some really bad luck losing several good fish next to the boat, but we eventually boated a good fish just over that metre mark. Coming on that four inch Hercules in Gold Rush, which is what we're continuing on fishing from the previous day. Oh, a big boy. Oh, that was like a 120. That was very, very big. Feels like a nice one, yeah. That'll do. Oh, that's such a good feeling. On the smallest little tap, eh? Tiny little tap and I just hit it. I reckon we'll get the jump here. Oh, that is a good feeling. Oh, really nice fish. Been sitting on those fish for a couple of hours now. A few short taps. Slow rolling the Hercules through the weed. <laughs> That's, That's a good one. Oh, a lot of hours for that bite, but I think it's worth it. Hercules looks like it's a fairly long way down. That one will go, definitely go a metre. Oh, thank you, Josh. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> I'm not sure why I just put my hand on your knuckles, but I'm so happy to see that. I was like, okay, I've got back here. Oh, oh, that is a big fish. Oh, look at the beat oh. on that. Right on. Right. Oh, yeah. There's a Hercules down there. Chafed a fair bit of that leader, but we still had a fair bit left there. Nice fish. There he is, little four inch Hercules. That is a beautiful Mondrian fish. Well over a metre in that sort of height. 107 bracket, let's say. Alright, pop that hook out. Give her a bit of a swim for a second. Oh, there she goes. Oh, doing up that again. Plenty of fish there, but there he goes. Gone. So the next morning after a good rest, we got up quite early, sort of just before first light, headed back up the dam to where we were fishing the previous afternoon. Um, it was ridiculously cold, which is still going to get in these sorts of areas with that transition period. I think it was like 10, 11 degrees, bit of wind on the water, so um, yeah, it was freezing. We were proper rugged up. We got up there. There was fish sitting up in the weed, which was great. Fish for a few hours, we got two smaller guys on the four inch Hercules, uh, but those bigger ones just weren't playing the game, but they were there, so as you do, we persisted on them. It wasn't until about sort of 10 o'clock that we, we eventually got into a good one. Declan hooked quite a large one, I think it was the biggest of the trip. Um, and I think it was just that warmer water sort of finally got those big ones a bit more comfortable. And um, yeah, it was a, definitely a good way to finish the morning session. Yeah. No, he's just coming across this way. Oh, changed over that five inch diesel minnow on the new swim locks there, just for a bit of a different presentation.
you didn't go back out that way, dude. Yeah. Farming the spool a little bit there to keep them away from those trees. Oh. We've got him coming back my way again now. Easy. These things go real hard, Josh. They definitely do. They've got some. Uh, some serious this is. I don't think you should go to Faust. No. It's a weird thing. Faust fish don't do this thing where the reel moves. You just wind them into the boat. There he is. Get a net shot on this side. Oh, lovely. There. That'll do! Cracker, mate. Well oh, yes! <laughs> Even got the knuckles! That's oh. an absolute cracker. That is a real good fish. She might be nudging one too, right, I reckon. Alright, I'm just going to get the brag mat out here, wet it before we get this fish on board. Just helps with the fish a little bit. Now we can pull it up and... Whoa. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a proper Monty fish. It, it is. Five inch, the five inch diesel minnow in the corner there with the new swim locks. Awesome hook. Uh, I'll slip them out from here and we'll get a measure. That's going to be on ten. Yeah. No. Almost. Just a really healthy huh? fish. Just 105, eh? That is a very big 104. 106. 106. Oh! Stoked with that one. So a key standout with how cold the water still was and the air temperature was, was how slow we were working our lures. So as previously mentioned, we were running those four inch Hercules just for a, uh, a much lighter, smaller presentation, but they were winding them that slow that they were just sort of just hopping through the weed and um, right down on the bottom. So the, we, really you couldn't work it too slow. Um, they just, they weren't super active. They're a little bit finicky. So it really did take that super slow retrieve, leaving it in their face as long as possible to get the bite. So for the afternoon session, we knew those fish were still up there. So we quickly shot back up the dam. Josh tried something different, a five inch diesel minnows on one of the new sizes of the swim locks. We actually got a fish within the first five minutes, which got us all high spirits. But uh, we ended up flogging those fish for many hours for not another bite. So we called that a day and uh, went and had a good rest and drove home the next day. There he is. Not really good fish. Nice. Really good fish. Just said depth with your ankle before five and it's been like a minute. He's coming straight at us. Whee! <laughs> And he is not happy. I don't blame him. Oh, he's jumped. Oh, he wanted to jump. Just on the... Oh, my God, there's some fish down there. Pearl blue glimmer, five inch diesel. It's from the 7038 swim box. One of those new sizes. Just slowly working it through the weed there, so we're not running a stinger at the moment. But I think we've pinned this one quite well. Oh my God. It's going hard. I love the long butt on this rod. Here we go. Nice fish. Oh my God, what was that? <laughs> Marlin. Dolphin. Straight in, yep. This is why people come to Lake Wander and just the power on these fish is exceptional. Here he comes. Look at a net shot there. Dirty, honest, there. Oh, there he is. There. Beautiful start the afternoon. Straight in. Oh, that's a great fish. Only just pinned. The leader has uh, seen better days. Oh, look at that thing. How's that? He'd be up over that meter mark. 
five inch pearl blue glimmer diesel 7038 swim locks right in the corner of the mouth there that was a really good fight when they get to this size they're just so aggressive some really good aerials out of him and yeah that was unreal <laughs> So if you're looking to head up to Monterey this summer, um, I definitely look at having some Hercules in the box. Um, the ability to fish such a small lure with a, a really strong hook was, uh, I think, what really made this trip. Um, with how timid they were, is you just really had to downsize. And your typical, you know, three to four inch lures just aren't strong enough for that sort of situation. So the the four inch and five inch Hercules would definitely stand out. Now that it's warming up a bit, coming into to that summer period, I definitely look at more the five and six inch sizes. Um, another great one was the diesel minnow 5 inch with the new sizes and the swim locks fishing the 1 quarter and 3 eighth weight. Um, that was another great one. Once again, coming into this warp, don't be afraid to upsize it into the, to the larger sizes, the 7 inch, and moving up into those 8, 9, and 10 o size swim locks hooks. So there you go, that was our trip to Mondrian, so hopefully you guys can get up there and smack a few fish too. <laughs>